Hi guys, it's so good to be back again with another video. If you are enjoying my videos, please remember to show a little bit of love by clicking that like button and hitting subscribe to my channel. Well, I can't believe that another month is over and with another month is my empties for the last 30 days. Um, I've got a mix of products here from face and beauty to makeup. Actually, my makeup products are all the same. Um, I'm having a bit of a clear out of eyeliner, so I'm getting rid of eyeliners that are just aren't working for me. Heck, let's just go straight in. So the first eyeliners, that they're not empty. They have been used, and they have been used well, is the Too True Eye Tech um, Extreme Eyeliner in black. Now... If you have been a follower of mine, you will know that I absolutely loved the Too True eyeliner that was in a pot, and I used that eyeliner for 10, 15 plus years. That eyeliner was my go-to. Anyway, I don't know when it happened because I used to bulk buy on my eyeliner, and then I went to do another bulk buy, and the eyeliner was gone. The eyeliner was gone. And I contacted customer service, and I asked where it was and they said that they had discontinued it so i was having to prepare myself a bit and they said but we do still have this eyeliner so i thought mm, 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 i'll give it a go um for me i always do struggle with pen eyeliner formats because i like to put my eyeliner on over the top of shadow as i think most people do and yeah, after a while they just get clogged up, the, the ends get clogged up and you just don't get a good, you know what I'm trying to say, yeah, that, you just don't get a good that, so they started well, don't get me wrong, they started really, really well, and then unfortunately the more you use them, they deteriorate, which is what's happened with these, so I'm going to show you this now and you're going to think, oh, it's great, it's fine, and it is. But, yeah, trust me, these are all, all clogged up. But what I will say about these is these are really, really effing cheap. So these each are £3.50. However, there is a sale on at the moment. You can get these eyeliners for £1. If you need a cheap eyeliner, guys, if you need a cheap eyeliner, get these for a pound because for the money, they are excellent. And actually, you can put up with maybe a little bit of, like, all you have to do is go over the, the same place until it applies. I'm just lazy. I just want to do, like, one stroke, get it on, flick it off, job done. So, I'm not saying these are bad. They just may need a little bit more time, um, you know, to, to apply the product if you do have to go over a couple of places again. But I'm not knocking these by any stretch of the imagination. So I am just unfortunately getting rid. They do have a six month life on them. I've probably had them for a little bit longer than that anyway, so I shouldn't be using them. And I have other eyeliners that I'm now using. So unfortunately these are being binned. Um, but yeah, I feel bad. I feel really bad. I'm sorry. You have been good. You've been really good. And for a while, these were the eyeliners that I was wearing on a day-to-day -day basis, and they were fine. So give them a go. But for me right now, i got to say goodbye. So the next eyeliner I'm saying goodbye to is the Max Factor Masterpiece High Precision Liquid Eyeliner. This is worth £9. You know what, I had a problem with this because of the tip. I just was not used to using a tip like that. Whenever I've used eyeliner in the past, I've always had a very, very pointed tip. Um, and that's just what I'm used to, that's just how I do it. So I did struggle with this, um, just because I just couldn't get that point on. I'll show you. And you can probably see from that swatch as well, next to the other two eyeliners, that this is coming out very charcoal-y. Um, it is actually in the shade charcoal, so I'm not surprised. But again, for me, I like a really dark black eyeliner. Um, and this one was just a little bit too... 
not as deep for me. So, I mean, he's pretty much all used up anyway. Um, I can see when I'm doing this that it's not working as well as it should. You can also see that it's starting to separate a bit as well. Um, so again, this does have a six month life on it. I did use it quite often and do you know why? It is really good when you don't want such a dark eyeliner line, but you still want like that definition, which is where the charcoal works. It's like a dark gray slash light black. Um, so for me, I, I, I probably wouldn't buy this one again. Sorry, Max Factor, I do love Max Factor. But more than anything, the issue for me was the tip. If you can work with it, great. I didn't get on with it. Next up, I used one of the samples that I got, and you would have seen this probably in my sample video. This is the Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Multi Recovery Complex Serum. It was a sample in 1.5 ml. If you did want to buy this full price, a 30 ml of this is 60 quid. So, it's super expensive. Even this 1.5 mil packet would have cost three quid. I used three quid worth of product. Um, the confusing thing for me on this is that it's called the Advanced Night Repair, but the instructions is to use apply on clean skin before your moisturizer AM and PM. So it's an all day jobby, which is fine. I did morning and evening. Obviously, I probably only used this two or three times. Um, it was fine. Did I notice a massive difference? No, because I only used it very briefly. But I love Estee Lauder skincare, and yeah, I would I would try this. I mean, thirty quid is a lot of money, um, but I definitely wouldn't say no to giving this a go and and seeing if I'm using it longer, um, any differences. So thank you, Estee Lauder, for this. Much appreciated, I enjoyed using it. Okay, next up I have the L'Oreal Paris Wrinkle Expert Night Cream. This is the calcium one. If you are aware of what this is, this is for the mature skin. I don't really care. I will use an intense cream on my face and it was fine, it worked. I guess I feel plumped. The thing for me with this is, it smells like, you know what, it just smells like when my parents got their house renovated and there was like, is it plaster? I think it's, that's what it smells like. It's, it's not a awful smell and it may just be me, but mm, it just is taking me back to a building site. This product is a uh, 50 mil, are you? Yes, you are. 50 mil, um, it's RRP is 10 quid, but it's one of those that you regularly see it on sale for half price. So do grab this for five pounds, it's fine. Or any of the L'Oreal um, day and night creams. They're, they're good value for money, especially when they are on um, sale. This is my go-to, you might see this on a number of the empties videos that I do because it is the one that I use the most. It's the Nivea Micellar Professional Makeup Remover Micellar Water. It's a dry oil. I just find that it works best. I've, I've tried a number of micellar waters and I just like how this one feels. It's non-fragranced, it, it leaves your skin feeling light and I guess that's like the air part of it. Um, because it's got that dry oil, it doesn't feel oily. It does a good job at removing your makeup. Even when you're not removing makeup, it does a good job at just removing dirt and freshen up your face at the end of the day if you've had a no makeup day. This is six quid for 400 ml. I have another one of these on the go already now. And yeah, as I say, it's my, it's my go-to um, makeup remover. I do normally use an eye makeup remover separate and then do micellar on my whole face, but I have had days when I just use this and it works perfectly fine on eye makeup as well. So, always intrigued with micellar water. If you are using one that you love, let me know because I definitely like to give it a try, but for me, this, this is the one. Next up, we have this. It's the Anatomicals Summer Strawberry Body Scrub. I do really like Anatomicals. I use a number of their products. I love the fun names that they call this the Great British Flake Off. Um, this is, as it says, a strawberry body scrub. 
Um, this actually came, I believe, in a birch box that I had a few months ago. So it is 50 mil. If you want to buy it, it is super cheap. It's £1.50. Um, I enjoyed using it. You know, to me, it was more of like a exfoliating shower gel. That's the best way I can describe it. It wasn't a super scrubby scrub, if you know what I mean. Um, it had the beads in it, you know, for the exfoliating, but it was just more of like a nice feeling rather than a hardcore scrub, which is what I would want out of um, an exfoliator. But I did use this with an exfoliating mitt, which helped massively. Um, the only thing I would say about this is the smell it is strawberry, but it's a very artificial strawberry. Now, don't go in the comments and tell me that all strawberry smell is artificial because strawberries don't smell. I know, I know, but I don't know. There was something, there was just something that just felt a little bit too synthetic about the strawberry smell. But it was fine for £1.50, it's, it's great. Um, 50 mil, it lasted a long time, and yeah. Um, thank you, Birchbox. Last but not least in my empties for August is this sample. It's a sample of the White Company. It's the Relax Pulse Point. It says it's got lavender, clary sage, and peppermint. Now, when I used this, I could only smell the lavender. So I wasn't getting those sage and peppermint notes. So it's one of those rollables. You put it on your sides, you put it on your wrists, you put it behind your ears. Yeah, and I'm just getting lavender. It was nice, you know, I know that this is the sample size, so it does have the plastic ball, but I do like a roller ball that has the metal ball because that does tend to get um, quite cool at room temperature and just feels nice when you apply it. Um, this product is a sample, but if you wanted to buy it, it's 10 quid for 10 mil. It's, it's fine. What I will say is it doesn't leave oily residue so I am using another roller ball now which is fine so it's not this one and yeah it is leaving oil on my skin that is not absorbing and is keeping me shiny which this one doesn't do um, so it does get absorbed I would just like maybe the fragrance to stick around a little bit longer I find that we're losing the smell a little bit but certainly before you go to bed the lavender is brilliant so yeah Goodbye, the White Company Spa Relax Pulse Point. Okay, so that's it. Those are my empties for August. Let me know if you've tried any of these products. If you want to recommend any products to me that you think I might like, please let me know because I'm always down for that. Um, thank you once again for joining a video of mine. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to click like if you've enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoy me. And yeah, remember you are gorgeous just the way you are. Be kind to everybody that you meet and I will see you on the next video. Bye guys.